Come here. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. okay. Why are you blushing? <laughs> Why are you blushing? My question is, okay, I have an hour layover here. So what are you doing? Do you want to hang out? Let's go on a date. <laughs> It's 7.30 in the morning and this is gonna be a great day. I've got so much to do. We're flying to Sri Lanka. I've gotta pack my bag. I've gotta do a TV interview. I've gotta run into town. My clothes, some extra shoes, random accessories, and the paddleboard. So this goes into that, that, into that. Everything goes into that for the next three months. Good morning, sunshine! Always on camera! <laughs> Get off! <laughs> is, that the is that it? No, 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 this is a bigger one. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Thank you to Joe. <laughs> All the best. All the best, right? Take yeah, care. Thank you so much. We'll have to keep in touch. Likewise. And uh, I know you're going to do good things, man, so <laughs> we get to watch. Cool. Um, awesome. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Two hours later. Ah. All right, I'm after. <sighs> I'm after going to the service entrance and not the real entrance, so I have to walk around. But, you know, gives me time to talk to you guys. This should be pretty cool. It's for a TV interview that's going live. Live over to the Sydney office for Channel 7. We're gonna talk about animal selfies, mental health, kind of some issues that I was going through. And then I'll bring up the Quokka book, talk about that. Um, just a general all around chat about the whole animal selfie stuff. Before I get into this, I need to um, I need to get changed because I don't want to wear black on TV. They said not to wear any stripes, green, anything that kind of disrupts the camera. So I'm gonna wear this cam blue. Good to go. How are you doing? I'm here to see. Right, so if you go over to um, security, they'll sign you in. Okay, right, cool. Thank you. Lot. You won't <laughs> sign me in? Oh, I get a sticker. This. A banana has mushed into my bag at this stage, but it's time to do it. But I'm starving, so I gotta eat this. Oh, there's some like fancy camera equipment here. Oh yeah, some of the old stuff. Oh wow, this is old school. Do you want to get a cup of coffee or anything? Oh, a coffee would be great, please. Yeah, thank you. Look at this piece of art they have. It's all these like utensils stuck together. And it's all just... Where are we going? To the studio. <laughs> Tell me about it. Very funny. <laughs> Look at this. This is so fancy. Yes, this is our little studio away from studios. <laughs> you will see them in that monitor yeah, there. Yeah, so kind of at the... But look at the camera. When when you come up, you'll see yourself there as well. Yeah, that'll be... But it'll weird. be a slight delay. So this is your chair here. Have this earphone and you will hear Sydney through that. Yeah, okay. And I can actually talk down that same one. Oh, perfect, okay. You can plug that in your ear at your leisure. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. I'll turn the lights on in a minute. <laughs> so he's after going, leaving me in the studio completely by myself. There's a camera set up, lights, this beautiful background. I'm gonna set you up and we can shoot it behind the scenes. This is ridiculous. You are tuning in to Alan Dixon. We're gonna talk animal selfies, mental health, positivity, just all round active nature, adventure, wildlife. This is my front view. So you got the screen here, I'll see myself, the camera, and then Hollywood up here. <laughs> there we go. Look, we can take a, we can take a selfie selfie. What's up? No makeup department here. <laughs> the coffee's kicking in, the nerves are kicking in. We can do this, we got this, this is the moment. It's those things, you know, it's like you putting yourself out there, making yourself vulnerable. I, I don't know how many people are gonna watch this on TV. I'll stick it in this video now so you can see the differences between in studio and then what's on TV. This, is this screen live? Is this a video that's live? Of Perth right now? He's not answering me. <laughs> I feel so alone here. <laughs> you can <laughs> Okay guys, this is live. He's controlling it right now. I think there's a bit of dirt on your lens though. <laughs> 
Can you, how far can you zoom in? Can you see, like, what? You can nearly see into people's, what, what's going down on the road? Can you, oh wow, this is such, what optical zoom is this? Oh wow, Elizabeth Key, I haven't seen this. Oh wow, this is such, this is so good. Who, who, sh who's shouting in my earpiece I'm here? Is it all the, <laughs> Steve, Steve, Steve. Oh, it's Steve, Steve, Steve. Funny is the quokka looks like that gopher and my name's Alan and then the whole BBC Talking Animals thing. All right, it's showtime. He is the Irish adventurer who sent the internet into a frenzy. Rewind to 2013 when Alan Dixon's Quokka selfie went viral for all the right reasons. Fast forward to today and the 30-year-old's furry little friends have become the inspiration behind his latest project, creating a new kind of self-help book where the mighty marsupials give a much-needed boost to our mental health. And Alan Dixon joins us now live from Perth. Alan, welcome hey, to the how's show, it going? mate. Thank Perth. you so much for having me. You're Cheers. welcome. Hey, explain how does an Irish bloke end up down under snapping selfies with a quokka? <laughs> well, it's like one thing after the next. So I entered a competition by Tourism Australia called the best job in the world, and all the videos that I created and all the buzz about Australia, I got a like a six-month all-expenses-paid trip to Australia to showcase how great it is. And I eventually ended up on, in Western Australia, Perth, found out about Rottnest Island, went straight over to the Quokkas, and like, I had never seen anything like them before, and my mind was blown, like, straight away. Because they, they have this permanent smile across the face, and I didn't see anything, like, I never saw anything like that before. They are beautiful. After your first picture almost broke the internet, uh, one photo just wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> so. Yeah, I took, um, I took a Quokka selfie and then the news kind of went, I don't know, they looked at all the selfies that I took as a collection and used the Quokka as the iconic photo because it's just so beautiful. So the best way you reckon to put smile on people's faces is to turn this into a book. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, no, so I had, been, um, I had been taking pictures of Quokkas for over two and a half years and all the comments on my Instagram, people are just overjoyed with receiving, with like seeing the photos. And I'm like, oh, well, the next best thing to do is to put this into a book and surround that by mental health so that you've got the happiest animal in the world into like really positive action to make the happiest book in the world. So that's what we're crowdfunding now on Kickstarter. Oh, good on you, man. Hey, Alan, what's your experience with mental health? Is it uh, something you've struggled with in the past? I guess, yeah, no, I never really kind of brought this to life, but um, well, I, I did a TED talk and I was explaining this, but like I'm the type of person, so I was, I studied engineering and I was sitting behind like a computer screen looking at matrix code for 14 hours a day. And honestly, that's like, it's soul destroying. So I went from that and I, I kind of just dropped the whole engineering effort. I just, it wasn't me. And I pursued my passion, which was media and nature and outdoors. And I wanted to see how that would get me a career. And like, honestly, I just, I actually went through that whole kind of depression stage where like life, it, it just didn't seem right. There was nothing, nothing for me because I wasn't doing what I actually loved. And it's until you start doing what you actually love, then you can go on the right path. Yeah. yeah, good on you. So your your mindfulness mascot is the quokka. Uh, what are some other tips uh, that you'd give to people to get as happy as, as one of these beautiful little quokkas? Uh, <laughs> Basically, uh, if you're going to take animal selfies, I think now that trend has like really like stuck on now. It's basically slow movements. If you're going to approach the animal, you need to gain their trust. So if you can be within their presence, know that you're not let them know that you're not going to harm them and then just have a camera and snap as many photos as possible. <laughs> so we saw some vision there. It seems like the quokkas love your music. That would make you the quokka rocker. Uh, <laughs> but you haven't had the same amount of luck with wallabies or kangaroos. Let's take a listen. Hey you, hey you Mr. Kangaroo. I'm going to play you a really good song. You ready? What? You know the way to a stream. Oh, I'm losing fans. <laughs> the Kang is there, Alan. <laughs> no love, no love. I've lost all my fans, and that's actually my first concert I've ever played now, so thank you for that. <laughs> now, just before you go, uh, what's the secret to the perfect animal selfie? The secret to the perfect animal selfie? It's all patience. That's all it is. It's like hundreds of photos and patience and really good, uh, really good light. 
Oh, excellent. Hey, Alan, good on you, man. You're bringing lots of smiles to plenty of people's faces. We love it. Cheers. Thanks for having me. No Thank sweat. You. For more information about Alan's book, Fighting Happiness, The Quack Away, just jump on our website. And if you're struggling with mental health issues, please contact Lifeline on 13 11 14. Cheers. All right, we are done. Let's get on a flight. <laughs> I'm out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go. On to the next one. Cool. That's good. I got your approval. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the airport. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. On to the next one. <laughs> Did you see it on TV? No, no. they don't have it on. Oh, that's so stupid. It'll be replayed though. What, what show was it? It was the Daily Edition. I know. I can watch it this afternoon. Okay. You want to see a time travel trick? All right, here we go. Let's jump onto an airplane right now. We just landed in Sri Lanka and I feel like someone punched me in the face. Thank you, Joe, for picking me up and bringing me to the airport. She hates this camera, hates being on camera. Look, she's shy. It'll be edited out. <laughs> Look, she's crossed her arms now. That's bad. That's, That's it. We're like, cutting off. I'm she's just off. trying to drive without. You know, you you haven't got long to your plane, Lee. <laughs> By be kind to people and just treat other people how you like to be treated. That's it. Oh. So the air hostess recognized me off Instagram. Yay! Oh, I'm on your flight. Oh. You want to get a photo? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck here right now. <laughs> this is so cute. Are you are you gonna give me a really good drink and all the good food yes, on my? Yes, yeah? you just name it. I'll, I'm I'll, I'm on her flight, so she's. <laughs> okay, do you wanna get a photo? Yay! <laughs> no, I'm shy. Don't be shy. It's okay. Awesome. All right, I'll see you on my flight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at them just laughing over there. All right, I've got about an hour and a half before my flight. I'm just gonna, I don't know, get some work done, do some emails, editing, you know, daily hustle. Thank you. Flight number one, let's go to Kuala Lumpur. It's a bit of a crazy mess here. The only bad thing about this is the fact that there's no plugs on the flight, like in the seats. So I can't, like my laptop's dying of battery, so basically I can't work. Now that being said, the service, the service has been amazing, so this is meal number two. Look at this! <laughs> oh my god, you're amazing. Are you, will you be around after the plane? Uh, yes. Okay, I'll come say hi after, because I've got like a two hour layover. Yeah. How cool is that? She was so nice. Of all the photos I've been uploading, she's nice enough to give me a coffee and a cheesecake in business class. That's so cool. for a photo. What's your name? Oh, my name is Afi. Sophie? Afi. Afi. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Have you got any oh. Oh. Have you got any message to the beautiful people? Um what have you got to say? Just hi. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Yo, here. What's up? So you're at birth and then <laughs> should I yeah. <laughs> we should go back and have dinner at yours, right? Yeah. <laughs> Date night. <laughs> Why are you running away? You're like, oh! Yeah. Come here. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. For you. Okay, so, wait, is this recording? Let's just make sure. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Why are you blushing? My question is okay, I have an hour layover here. So, what are you doing? Do you want to hang out? Let's go on a date. <laughs> no? Yeah, are you, are you working? Or can you come and grab? I'll, I'll, Grab the drink. I have to go to the office later. Oh! oh she yeah. Too bad. Let's. You can give me a tour of the airport. 
to it. <laughs> I have to go to the office, straight to the office. So you going sad. to work right now? Yes. That's so sad. I'm to cry. <laughs> Maybe next time. Next year, yeah. okay. When are you coming back? back? Coming back from Colombo. Oh, in a week? I don't know my layover though, but I, I go then I go to Hong Kong. Um, you can make sure you're on the flight on the 25th. On the 25th. I fly from here, okay, KL. Okay, I'll try my best to be on that flight. You're Bye. awesome. Take care. Thank you so much. Okay. How funny is that? <laughs> I didn't get my date. Oh well. But I got a gift. I got a gift. Yes. What's in the package? Oh. That dry air, you know, your skin just goes really dry. I can't wait to have a shower. Like, really, a shower, please. All right, I admit she did know me beforehand, so that was kind of already foot in the door. When an opportunity comes up like that, you know, you just gotta man up, you gotta do it, and you gotta ask. And you know, if I didn't ask in the first place, then I would have probably regretted it or like, oh. I wonder how I asked her to come hang out with me for an hour. There you go, man up people. <laughs> Alright, so there's no entertainment on this flight. All the power to the man. <laughs> there's no entertainment on this flight because all the screens are turned off. So now they're having a single song. This guy. Good job, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional filmmaker here. This is probably the most entertaining flight ever when you don't have power or don't have any movies to watch. People just have sing songs. <laughs> you, should, you should join in on the dancing. Yeah? If, I, if I join them, we never finish our service. <laughs> To be fair, this is my first impression of Sri Lankans, and they're actually pretty funny people. We just landed in Sri Lanka, and I feel like someone punched me in the face. Oh my, I feel horrible. <laughs> See me now, world. Raw, tired. I am looking forward to bed. Actually, I shower first and then straight to bed. Yeah. This is the beauty of travel. We're outside, and as you can see, the condensation. <laughs> the condensation is ridiculous because it's so hot. The points in travel, you know, when you're just tired, you want to get a shower, the low points of travel. So all those really cool stuff that you see, you have to go through this struggle and hassle of sleep deprivation first. We're waiting for a car. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. What's your name? Leonard. Leonard. Yes. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna sit in the front because it's an hour long drive. We can do some karaoke. <laughs> do you dance? <laughs> Let's dance. It's a team. We're a team. Okay, so where are the nightclubs? Where will we? Not here, not here. Where will we go tonight? Tonight? Yeah. How many clubs will we go to? No, today that place. Ah, yes, near, near that place have a nightclub. Perfect. Yes, maybe. We'll go straight there. Forget, skip the hotel. <laughs> Me and you, we're gonna hit that dance floor. <laughs> After 24 hours of beautiful adventure, I am going to bed. I am so excited for this. I'm gonna hop in the shower first, and I'm gonna pass out here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This journey is only beginning. Peace.